What's up everybody? My name is Emily and I am one of the trainers here at Pulse and I'm going to talk to you today about sleep. Um, we all know that sleep is really important but I don't think all of us realize how important it really is for our day-to-day -day functions. So some of the benefits of getting a good night's sleep and things that it helps with are um, of course healthy brain function and um, our ability to learn and process um, new things. Um, it also is super important for emotional well-being. We all know if we are lacking on sleep, we are usually pretty grumpy and crabby and have a hard time um, paying attention. So we know it's important for those things. But other things that sleep helps with um, is healing and repair. So anything in the body that needs to repair itself or you're healing from like injury or even internal type stuff, um, we need sleep to help us with that. Um, sleep is also extremely important for growth, obviously, for, you know, kids and adolescents. And it's also important for hormone balance. So sleep really helps with that. If you're having some issues with hormones or an imbalance, um, you want to make sure you're getting enough sleep. It also helps us with digestion. So making sure that we're digesting our foods properly. And it helps with our immune system. And it helps with strength. So coming to the gym, you're doing your workouts, you're trying to grow your muscles. If you are not getting good sleep, you are not going to see the progress and the growth that you are wanting to see. So sleep is a huge part of um, well-being in general. So how much sleep? Most of us know we should be getting about eight hours as an adult. Seven to eight hours is adequate. If you're getting less than that and you think, I'm fine, I don't need that much sleep, I run on five hours, you really need to be getting those seven to eight hours. Your body needs it. And you may have become used to getting less or you're you know, accustomed to it, but that doesn't mean that you don't need those seven to eight hours. Um, on the other side of things, if you are getting nine, 10, 11, if you're sleeping a ton, it's too much. Your body does not need that much sleep. Seven to eight is a pretty good range for the average adult, okay? Signs that you're not getting enough sleep are needing naps, Frequently. So if you're somebody who feels like you need a nap every day, it's not normal and it means that your body probably needs to be getting more sleep at night. Okay, ne feeling the need for caffeine. Caffeine is addictive. So if you are someone who drinks, you know, a certain amount of coffee every day or energy drinks, um, sometimes it can just be that you have a little bit of a caffeine addiction. But if you really feel like you need, you need that to help you feel awake, that can be a sign that you're not getting enough sleep. So um, to test that one, you can try to go off of caffeine for a couple weeks and see if you adjust and you're not feeling tired without it. That could be more of like the addiction side versus really needing it. If after you've gone off it for a while, you still feel really exhausted all the time, that's a sign that maybe you need more sleep because you're using that to wake yourself up. Um, hitting snooze in the morning. Um, sometimes we do it out of habit, but if you are waking up at your normal time that you typically get up for work or to start your day and you just feel like you have to hit snooze, like there's just no way you can get out of bed right now, that can mean that you maybe didn't get enough sleep that night. Um, another really good indicator is if you um, say it's your day off, or you don't have anything going on, you don't need an alarm, you're just waking up on your own. If you are feeling like you need one or more extra hours of sleep, of sleeping in on the weekends or on your days off, that's an indication that you're not getting enough sleep as well. So our body gets pretty used to a sleep schedule. So even on the days that we don't need to set an alarm, your body should typically be still waking up close to the time that you would normally getting up or within an hour, okay? And also just feeling super tired about an hour after waking up for the day. So if you get up, you're feeling pretty good, you're doing your thing, and about an hour, hour and a half into your day, you're feeling pretty tired again, it's your body telling you that you needed more sleep, okay? So let's say you are noticing some of those signs. Some of the things I'm saying are hitting home for you, and you want to get better sleep, but you're just not sure how to do it, okay? So let's talk about that. Some ways to improve your sleep. Um, the first and probably most important is getting on a sleep schedule. And I know that that can be really hard, especially if you have a job or a position where you, um, where your schedule fluctuates or changes. But if possible, the best you can get on a sleep schedule. Go to bed around the same time every night, get up around the same time every day, even on the weekends, even on your days off. Try to get into that routine and your body will get used to it and it will feel good to you, okay? Another thing is darkness. Um, we really do need it to be dark when we sleep. I know some people like to sleep with TVs on um, for the light. 
that is really distracting. Um, maybe not for you, like you might think to yourself, TV doesn't bug me, I actually need it to sleep. But if you can try to break that habit and get rid of that, um, what it's doing on the side you can't see, like internally, it's not good, okay? So try to get away from the habit of having to sleep with the TV on for the light and because of the noise. Noise can be very bothersome too. Um, white noise is okay. Some people need like a fan going, that sort of sound. Um, that can help you sleep, but TV or music, those kind of noises sometimes are more distracting, even though we don't quite realize it. Okay. Um, you can also do other environmental changes. So things like the temperature, we naturally need it to be a little colder in our rooms to sleep. Okay. So make sure that you are setting your room temperature or if you're able to, um, or, you know, changing up how many blankets are on the bed or that sort of thing, what you're wearing to bed, those sort of things to make sure that you are able to stay cool. Um, especially when falling asleep. Um, also, of course, you want to have a good mattress and a good pillow. Make sure that you are switching out your mattress. I forget how often they say to do it, but um, every so often you're supposed to, every few months or years, I don't know, you're supposed to get a new mattress. So look into that. Make sure that you've got good quality things to sleep on. It's good for your body and it's also good for your sleep. Um, and then another thing you can try is scent. So um, a really great one to try is lavender. So you can use lavender essential oils um, or like a lavender sleep spray. I would stray away from doing like the more um, like fake lavender smells like a wax plug-in or you know those sort of things. Maybe you don't try those but try like an essential oil or like a specific lavender sleep spray that you can kind of spray your pillows with. Um, you can spritz you know your pillows right before you're about to go to sleep and that really helps to calm. Um, the mind and the brain and get you ready for a good night's sleep. Another thing you can look into is a diet change. So um, certain foods obviously keep us awake longer, like we talked about caffeine, sugar, um, those sort of things. And you can also, on the opposite side of that, use things that'll help you sleep, like chamomile tea, um, you know, things like that. Um, and also try not to eat within about an hour of going to bed because the body, you know, really doesn't do super well. It's not great, you know, with weight wise, but also just actually with helping you sleep. Um, try not to be eating right before bed, definitely not in bed. Um, another thing is try not to lay in bed and do anything besides sleep. So like laying in bed, watching TV or playing on your phone. Um, try to do those things somewhere else, even a different room like read your book and then go up to bed or watch TV and then go up to bed. Try to keep the bed for sleep. Um, specifically, it just helps to really um, get in the zone and really help you fall asleep faster. And along those same lines, if you're not able to sleep, if you've been laying in bed for an hour, get out of bed. Get out of bed, go in a different room, you know, read a little bit. Maybe, you know, try not to be on your phone because you don't want the, the light stimulation, but read a little bit or do a little stretching or some yoga or something and then come back into the bedroom and try again. Don't just lay in bed and toss and turn for hours because it's not going to help you sleep. So if you're laying there for more than an hour, get out of bed and then come back. Okay. And the last thing I would suggest is um, to help you sleep is exercise. Get some exercise in during the day. If you are pushing yourself and you are getting that exercise, you're going to be tired and it's going to help you sleep. Your body is going to be physically tired and it's gonna need the rest, and that's gonna help you sleep. You can also do um, some stretches before bed. If you look into some um, like yoga stretches, you can do even right before you hop in bed. Okay, so I hope this helped. I hope you guys all can um, improve your sleep habits, and I hope you all feel better after you do that.